Are you looking for hope, humor, and help along this crazy journey called life? If so, then this podcast is for you. As a homeschooling mom of five, I went from a depressed coffee addict to a passionate storyteller, and I want you to know that there is more to life than what you can always see. I'm your host, Melanie Gall, and on this show, you'll gain tools to create the life you want, cultivate who you are made to be, and celebrate just how far you've come on this messy road. I praise the Lord that He isn't done with any of us yet, and the truth is, because of Him, we are sustained in the middle. You know, I'm just so appreciative of you and of the support um, that this community has given me. It's absolutely incredible and it's such a beautiful, beautiful gift. So thank you. Today I'm just going to talk about homeschooling. Uh, We are fairly new to it and it was definitely born out of the COVID craziness and kind of the ping pong ball that online schooling left me feeling like I'm sure there's literally a million moms in Ontario especially especially that can relate to this I recently just asked the kids okay how about we pay for you to go to the Christian school here in town next year Uh, would you rather that or homeschool (laughs) much to my surprise all of them said to homeschool which I'm so so thankful for but how I decided to homeschool in the beginning was kind of birthed um, back when Pete started the RCMP is that we knew that we would potentially be stationed in a place that may not have been suitable for our kids for education. So it was always in the back of my head that this is something that I might want to do. Also, I do have my religious education degree from Peace River Bible Institute where I went to school. So a love for teaching has always been there for me. When the kids came home because of COVID and this particular teacher had it this way and then this teacher over here started 15 minutes later and needed to have homework and then this teacher over here, they just had a different way of doing things but they needed my help more and you know, everyone did the best that they could in the time given. It was crazy. But it was also crazy for us moms at home and dads trying to navigate this, especially with multiple, multiple children. I also didn't love where the curriculum was going. And I half wondered if maybe there were subjects that my kids wanted to learn and where we could focus that would be better suited for them and their personalities and their learning styles. Jed also has a speech delay because of his rare genetic disorder. So his rare genetic disorder um, causes him to not be able to output actions and words properly. So in his brain, he knows exactly what he's doing, but it's called apraxia. So to be able to get it out, uh, his mouth can't quite form the words properly. And so for him to be in a mask all day when he's still developing these really intense and necessary motor skills, um, I couldn't let that happen. And so for him to come home was the number one uh, reason. And then as I was reading through Rebecca Spooner and her curriculum that she made, she was actually an uh, RCMP spouse at the time. So that's where I first met her. But knowing that she had made a homeschool curriculum, it really intrigued me to read her stuff because she also had five kids and she also used the analogy of being a ping pong ball, trying to go back and forth for what each of her kids needed. And when I read through some of her content, I just was crying and crying. (laughs) And it spoke to me, obviously, in a really deep way. And I said, this is how I feel I desperately want to try this. And so we talked to the kids and yes, they were excited to maybe uh, try it out. And there's such a beautiful gift that they afforded me because they were so gracious to me as I started. I had no idea what I was doing. They were so resilient to go from that type of a school system into home where We were around each other all day where I probably was still in my pajamas, where maybe their brother or sister was grumpy and we needed to deal with that first. There was maybe a little bit of a lacking schedule than what they were used to. And there was this definite shift of, okay, we're not in public school anymore. 
we're not abiding or needing to abide by a schedule. So where do we go from that? How do we navigate this? How do we enter into this with ease? And I will be the first one to tell you that it definitely (laughs) was a learning curve. But as we delved into what this could look like for our family, we met so many people that we aligned with, that our values aligned with, that we were able to talk about things like this that excited us. And some of us homeschooling moms now uh, were able to have community and talk about our failures and our worries and all of the scary things that come up from trying something new. So there is a deep sense of unity, I think, for our family, but as well as for the homeschooling community that we were with. So if homeschooling is something that you are interested in learning more about, please come talk to me. You can email me at deeper at melaniegallcoaching.com and just ask questions about how it's going, what the curriculum looks like, how we run it day to day. And I would just absolutely love to chat with you. Thanks so much for listening. Joshua 1.9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. No matter what you're teaching, no matter how many years you've been doing it, no matter if you are just getting started, this promise is for you. May you be blessed today as you go. If you're starting your homeschooling journey, just know that your kids love you and you were made to teach them. Have a great day.